It's me again. So today we're going to talk about the anatomy of a dart and how to draft um, different kinds and all that good stuff. So I do this video in different portions so you will see different stuff. I will try to explain to you the anatomy. I will try to draft one with you guys so you can guys do it at home and practice at home. Also, I am going to show you a couple examples that I do have downstairs. So I hope you guys really enjoy. So let's talk about dart. What is a dart? Dart are essentially part of garment because they are allowed flat fabric to take on a shape that will fit the body well or will create shape around the body. Keep in mind that body is not uh, flat. Um, especially female body have more shape than the boys. So um, that's the reason dart is essentially for garment for women's. Also, a dart is a fold widget um, of fabric that is sewing and, and stitches down in order to create the, the shape that you want. You can use dart for different stuff. So I really uh, enjoyed making this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So have a nice weekend and please subscribe and let your questions below. I will try to answer all of them as soon as I can. Bye. Okay, everybody. So I'm gonna show you the anatomy um, of a dart. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, this is an example, so Please don't think that that's the way a dark is in general. Well, the shape normally is. Well, these two portion normally is supposed to be the same size. Whatever is the total of the dark, it should be half here and should be half here. So this area here is calling bulk. Bulk area here. This line here is calling center. center line. This part here is calling apex, which is the point, the end. And these two lines up in here is calling legs. That's This is the legs of the dart. And then when you're sewing um, the dart, you're normally going to put your, so people call it point of reference of sewing, which is going to be half each from the apex so it should be around here and then your cycle in red so that way you know that this point for sewing and then you're going to make two notches some people make three notches but normally two notches is what you normally need and it's going to be in each leg this is the way that telling you this is the legs of the of the dark in the fabric so you can fold it over and match both notches on the fabric and that will create this point here which some people also like to notch so that way they know that that is the center of the dart so basically this is the anatomy of a dart basically the bulk the center line the legs the apex and the notches that you normally put on the dart okay so i'm going to show you a couple or just make reference a couple of the darts that you're going to be working with normally um, the number one and most common is plain dart that's the typical one that everybody knows that is like this and can be in different places and things like that the second one that you're going to use is going to be um, the breast Dart. That's the one that normally going to be around the breast, creating the shape of the um, breast. Normally, you have um, a number based on the cup size, so you need to check that to do that. This one specific. Then we do have the shoulder. The shoulder dart is, like I say, it's going to be your shoulder. Um, that's very simple. Another one is a neck dart. It's gonna be around your neck, basically. The next one is going to be the elbow. Let's 
that's not as common as people think. Um, I didn't see that one as much. Then you do have the curve. That one. Another one that I've seen um, is a double, um, it's called double pointed. Dart. That one in specific is something like this. That one, I've seen that in a couple um, places. And another one that I see a lot um, is the buck, dart. I see that a lot too. Um, it's, that one is normally around your waist and you're making a um, share or making something like that and you want to create more shape in that area you can use one of those um, also there is another one called Kurt so normally is to create more curves normally it will be something like this Would be something like that so normally that is the ones that I normally see more often I think there should be more there's another one I think called fringe um, put in here French darts so this is the one that I know um, that I've been using um, throughout there I think there should be more but so far this is the one that I see more often um, and sewing materials and things like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to draft a dart. Um, so in that way you guys can see. I use, I have two different papers here. I have the drafting paper, which is a normally the one that we use in fashion. And also I have a simple um, paper, um, eight by 11 simple one so we're going to do um, we're going to use a pencil mechanic pencil and a simple um, ruler so I'm going to make one line simple line make sure that is even so this is our reference line and then we're going to make a line let's try to make in the center well, this is eight something, so it should be like four each as it should be the center. Well, no, this is 11, so around 5.5, 5, around here. So we're going to make a line. This line, it will be four each. Then we're going to give in half each in both sides, so in that way, um, we're going to have one each dart, as you can see. Then we're going to connect both to this point. This way. This is going to be our um, dart that we're going to use for practice. Okay, so now we're going to try to try to through, um, make it through the um, dart, and we're going to use a couple tools extra, which is a bone, people calling this bone, um, this is something I use to throw in things, we're going to use a red uh, pencil and a scissor. So normally what you're going to do is connect these to this, put it together in paper, so in that way you can see how the dart will be through. Normally, um, if it's under um, one each, would not make a big difference. But if it's more than that, um, sometimes create like a peak on the top. We're going to through it. I'm going to do this. 
I don't think I can see it. And then we can see here that create like small peak. I don't know if you guys can see it. Create like small peak. So after that, we're going to cut it all the way around. Um, normally try to classify your scissors. I normally any scissors that are plastic for me, at least they are for papers. So we're going to cut all the way around this way. And then we're going to do the red ones and then we continue. Okay, so this is what we ended up. So when you fold it, you will see um, how the dart look. Hold on, let me try to close it. This is the way the dart will look. But look how create the shape that you're looking for. It's creating the shape. So now, after this, we're going to cut this in fabric. Okay, before we cut in fabric, we need to mark a couple things in the dart. First, we're going to use a punch hole or a notcher, which is this kind of thing. And we're gonna notch the dart legs. So we're gonna notch here and here. I don't notch the center. I don't do that. So basically that's what you're going to do. Then we're going to mark half each up, which is a reference for sewing. And then make a circle, circle here, like this. Then you do have the punch hole. I'm gonna punch hole this. It will be ended up like this. This is what you want to have before you um, cut in the fabric. Okay, so what I did in this case, I cut a big piece of fabric, um, putting out the small patterns that we create. And you do have two options how you want to cut it. You do have scissors, which normally is the way I normally I do. Or you can use um, a roll cutter. Um, I never use it, so I'm thinking about to use it today for demonstration. I have this small ruler, so I'm gonna use as reference just to make sure I'm not cutting upside. And let's see how it's work. Okay, let's cut the other side. Try this part without the ruler. Oh gosh, I cut a little bit extra, but so we ended up with something like this. At this point, we need to use the punch hole and make the punch hole here. Also, you need to mark the dart on the top, which is this one here. Basically, this is the way you will be ended up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another way that you can mark your dart is using when still in the um, pattern. You take your paper. This is a trace, um, trace the paper. You put it under, and then you come with your tracy wheel and just pass over and that will mark the fabric it will wash away eventually but it will mark the fabric and you will have a very clear 
um, vision of what is a dart. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to pin the dart. You're gonna need at least three pins. You're gonna put one folded, match your notches here, remember? Matches them, put a pin right there, then try to match both sides in the, in, in the inside. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your pin, you're gonna pinch one of the blue lines and try to make sure that pinch another blue line in the other side. That way you know that you are completely centered. And the last pin, you're gonna put it in the end of the dart, like right here. And that way you will have your dart completely pinned and you should be able to sew in this dart without any problem. Okay, so as you can see here, is already marked. I have the pin here on the side so I can pull it out. So what we're going to do first is make a couple stitches, back stitch, and then come over until the end. Okay? I'm gonna try to do it as slowly as I can. You're gonna put your needle down. Be careful with the um, pin. Sometimes the machines broke the needle, but this is a little bit stronger, so I don't, um, I don't get as much of scary of that. So now I'm going forward. Try to hit where you're supposed to be hitting. Slowly. Now in the end, you're gonna try to pull the last pin. Go over, and that's it. You don't um, back stitch in that area. You don't want to back stitch because that area um, is very sensitive. So what you're going to do is cut and try to make small, small tight here. Um, so that way is not going to get um, unravel. The problem if you do back stitch, this is a very sensitive area in the sense of the garment. Um, and if you do back stitch in that area, it will be visible on the other side, and you don't want to have that visible. So I tied it and cut it. I will cut the end here, and this is what we ended up. So now, what you're going to do is fl uh, use a flat iron, the iron, and flat it, and then you will see. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you a couple examples of darts. This is the shoulder darts I'm showing here. As you can see here, this is what it does in the shoulder. Create that beautiful shape up there. Then we do have the other darts I'm gonna show you right now. Okay guys, this dart here is a skirt dart. Uh, as you can see, this is a uh, moulash I'm trying to do. So you can see these, how these dart create a shape in the waist. Now we're going to show you the others two that I have here. Sorry, right there. Here you can see the two different dart that I have here. I have one, which is the breast dart here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, this is a dart and this is a shaping dart or front dart. Um, people have many different names for this one, but you can see it's a long dart that go from the top and go all the way to the bottom of the, um, sorry, going to the bottom of the shirt. Um, there we go. Go all the way to the bottom. So this is a um, couple examples of darts. So also you do have the back dart here. Sorry, let me show you. here you can see that and also you can see here this sleeve dart 